Wait, wait, wait. Millions of animals are brutally killed for their fur. One of the animals on fur farms are kept in tiny cages, while the ones in the wild are trapped and left for days to suffer. About 85 of industry skins come from animals on fur farms. Animals such as mink, they're active species that do not adapt well to life in a cage. In the wild, these animals have a range of about two miles. While on the fur farms, they are kept in cages averaging to about 10 inches wide by 24 inches long. There are also no federal humane slaughter law that protects animals on fur factory farms. A problem is that animals suffer. Animals on fur farms are killed painfully. They're often electrocuted or poisoned with it is a poison that suffocates the animal by paralyzing their muscles with painful ridged cramps. The main are usually gassed or violently injected with poison. An undercover investigation found that some minks are killed with weed killers that cause the animals to convulse up to 10 minutes before death. Since animals are sometimes killed being thrown against the ground, some even wake up by being skinned. Neck breaking is another common slaughter method used. Although most animals are slaughtered for their fur are raised on fur farms, million, millions of other animals are killed every year from clothing industry by trappers. There are various types of traps with the steel draw leg hole trap being the most widely used. The American Veterinary Medical Association calls these traps inhumane, and this device is banned in over 80 countries and several U.S. states. When an animal steps in the string of the steel jaw trap, the trap's jaws slam shut on the animal's limb. The animal struggles in excruciating pain as the trap cuts into their flesh, and often even down to their bone. Some animals, especially mothers, desperate to get back to their young, attempt to chew off their limbs in order to escape. solution is either a fake fur or no fur. You can help save these animals by not buying any product made with real fur. If you want something with fur, then buy something with fox fur, or otherwise known as fake fur. Many actors and designers are also switching over to fox fur. Celebrities against, um, against the real fur are Christina Aguilera and Pink. And about fox fur. Fox fur has a similar, if not the same, look and feel as real fur does. The best fur tends to be made. The best fur tends to be made of a fine men man-made fibers called acrylic. The, the these acrylic fibers can be dyed various colors to represent the color patterns of real animal furs. Fox fur is also less expensive, and for example, a real full-length mink coat for the HSN would cost about $10,000, while a fox fur would cost about $900. A fake fur is also easier to, to care for, and it is also more comfortable because it's lighter in weight. Just don't, 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 don't stay there for a second. There was one slide you had up there of a, of a fox. Could you put that up? No, 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 right there, that one, okay, just, just a second. Um, F-A-U-X, by the way, is faux. Yeah. Faux, okay. Tell us, what, don't look at your notes. Why did you show us a picture of this fox? Well, uh, the fox, 
Fonzo's trap in uh, the steel hole, like the, the steel jaw trap, mm -hmm. and it tried to chew off its uh, leg to try to escape, and it couldn't, so it's left like that. Right, right, right. Uh, and the trap, you, but right before that, you had the picture of the trap. Yeah. yeah and what can you tell us anything about that? Like when an animal like steps into it, like it just snaps shut. Like, mm -hmm. and the animal just can't escape, and they would like stay there for like days sometimes before the trappers would come for them and kill them. Anyway. Kill them, or they or they would they would die of what starvation. Or starvation or killed by other animals. By other by other animals. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Are these things legal? Um, they're banned in about eighty countries and many U.S. states. That's probably the worst trap. Because yeah, and they're 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 really totally totally illegal. Um, thank you, Marianne.